this place is bonkers. <laughs> we are at nipple tassel making workshop. I have got such a cool video planned for you guys this week. I'm about to go to a festival. It's a festival called Camp Wildfire and it's half adventure festival and half music festival, which sounds awesome because I love music festivals and I love adventure. I've been invited by Sarah Williams from the Tough Girl podcast. A few months ago, I messaged her to say that I really wanted to hang out and then she said, I've got a VIP ticket to Camp Wildfire. Do you want to go with me? Of course I said yes. There she is! Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh. you can't sell me buying Oreos. Double cream. <laughs> I've never glamped at a festival before. I've either stayed in a tent or been in my van. So I've got to admit, I'm well excited. Here's our tent for the weekend. <laughs> How nice is this? Uh, two double beds. Hey. Uh, this is so cool. So as part of the VIP ticket, there's this tent and it's kind of like a beauty area. They've got hair dryer. They've got straighteners. They've got lamps and mirrors to do your makeup. This is the patrol initiation. We missed it because we were chilling, plus we didn't really know what it was about. at Camp Wildfire. We did a full recce, we sussed it out. I know where the food is. It's 1 a.m. We're gonna go back, have a rest, and bring on a full day of activities tomorrow. Good morning. Day two, bring on the activities. I just went to the information desk and registered for Cupid's Club. So Cupid's Club is activities for singles and they give you this little badge. And I booked on to speed dating. I just did dodgeball and there's yoga, nipple tassel making. Like I'm not, I've never really done stuff like this before. So I feel a bit, I feel a bit nervous, but also in this environment, it's super fun. Everyone's super friendly, it's super safe. So I thought it's all part of the master plan, right? Hello there campers, Willie Watson here. Let's give it a go. It's 12.30 which means... We are at Nipple Tassel Making Workshop. That's as far as, that's as far as I got. You can make any shape, any form. The time has run out and I actually just made the one nipple. <laughs> it's such a good one. Yeah, I've got one. It's great. Yeah. The other one. They call me Laura One Tassel. <laughs> one Tassel Try. Just put it in the middle. <laughs> over the three days, there was over 60 activities. These included zorbing, archery, adventure puzzles, embroidery, hovercrafting, 
free fall jumping, quad biking, bee keeping, obstacle course, aerial circus skills, axe throwing, rifle shooting, archery, crossbows, raft building, nipple tassels, cupid's club, extreme slide, swing dancing, acro yoga, escape and evade, board games, scavenger hunt. And then there were the field games. Who knew that that would be the best bit? Right, I've only just got the hang of actually what's going on. Four houses, the squirrels, the hawks, the badgers and foxes. Everyone's taking part in games and people are going crazy. I'm a squirrel. That means that I've got a yellow band and I couldn't really get my head around it to start with. But now everyone is getting so, so into it. And there's the leaderboard at the top and each day there's the patrol games and then you get a chance to earn points. These guys no practice it. <laughs> security canopy and by the influence of a few ciders I just have started to get what this festival is about and it's awesome it's full of happy positive people all just doing and wearing exactly what they want and it's wicked wicked fun <laughs> token I just went to an acro yoga class and they did a little challenge who could hold a yoga pose for the longest time I got a token for the squirrels I'm gonna go and put it in the jar and in a couple of hours we've got the patrol games again I just cannot wait we were brought together through, brought together through the cupid's club and he's drawn, drawn the short straw and he's now my best mate <laughs> Monday morning and we packed away our tent. I'm not quite as high energy today, am I? 
Well, that was a bit of an abrupt ending. On Sunday night, I decided to drink neat whiskey and I lost my GoPro. But all the awesome people at Camp Wildfire, they clubbed together and they found it. And those two things, it meant that I didn't get any film on Sunday night. But come on, you guys really don't need to see me drunk. I'm going to do a 15 second roundup of Camp Wildfire. It was half adventure camp and half music festival. Tickets are in the region of around £150. I think they do an early bird, so I've put the description in the link below. The best bit for me was it was adults only and there were 60 activities and you can do glamping. And the most important question, would I go again? Absolutely! And by the way, squirrels, squirrels forever.